everybody Ann here sitting here on my front porch having my coffee with all of you and today well last night it rained all night and it's gonna rain again uh, but I did something yesterday and I want to show it to you and huh, hey Baba it looks kind of funky but it's functional first I wanted to show you from this angle yeah I put up a little tarp for them a little bit of netting over the top and they love to come back in here and chill out yes I've taken the leghorns out but let me let me have a look around the other side. See that? I just attached it. Yeah, those are all temporary because I still need to do some stuff with the tarp and whatnot. But it does keep rain from getting in from this side. And they just absolutely love coming out here. Those three logs came from the Hugoculture garden bed. I don't care if whatever happens to the soil happens to it. But they love getting up and hopping on those little logs and on this little perch. So that's working out really, really well. Over here. I made a little makeshift water catchment thing and it also kind of shelters the wind and whatnot from this angle um, and it just comes down this tarp and empties into there. Yep, it's all full. There's a little dirt in it. That's okay. But they just love it in here. They go in and out. They are not coming up here at night yet. I may try and do that tonight, but I still got to put some things to kind of safeguard it a little bit more, you know, front and back and whatnot so that no critters can get in and I just throw a bunch of stuff out here and as you can see the chia seeds and flax seeds are all sprouting so they got plenty of greens I'm gonna try and keep that going but I took the leghorns out because it seemed like um, Romeo was getting a little bit distressed he didn't have enough hens to mate with so it was just Roxy and this one and he drove them a little bit crazy, so none of them have stayed in that coop, you know, the little new one, overnight yet. I just couldn't let go of the safety of this van. So, yeah, until the other little new coop area is completely safe, or at least safe enough, um, they're not going to be spending any time in here. But it's restored peace to the yard. These poor little birds, they would not, the big girls would not let them into the van, so I had to kind of like usher them in. So this may be the right solution, at least for right now, so that they can grow up a little bit more, and when it's time for them to be big enough to contend with the rooster, they can just, I'll put some of them in the big yard, and then I'll put the leghorns and Tyson in this yard. So, yeah, it's going to be a little while, but it'll eventually get there. Looky, I got banana peppers and jalapeno peppers, multiple jalapeno peppers. One thing I really love about eggplant is their beautiful blooms. Look at that. And many, many tomatoes. Oh, that brings me so much happiness. Look at I went and did. Yeah, the last cayenne pepper plant, I said I wasn't going to transplant it because it's got tiny little blooms up there at the top. But I went ahead and did it anyways. I didn't even use the little styrofoam round this time um, because I just got this from the dollar store and it's just moss, dried moss. And I wet it and I put it into one of these. And I've got nutrients down in the bottom and the roots are coming through just fine. So we'll see if I get anything out of this one. What cracks me up is this tomato plant that I did a while ago. It is not very big, but it is putting out blooms. So I'm thinking I'm going to get tomatoes out of this. I've also got multiple cucumbers and bush beans. Something's eating these plants, so I got to do something about that. But I'm getting little beans. And what I'll do is when the beans first start coming, I'll pull off the first few little tiny ones and it really helps the plant grow and produce more green beans. Even though this poor sickly tomato plant looks like it's dying, it's going to give me a tomato. Just look at those happy chickens. They love it back in there. Look at that black and white one splash. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful, beautiful chicken. See this mess? This horrible mess? I have got to get this organized. Oh yes, I definitely have to get this organized because I've got some long-term food storage bins that I need to put in there. And yeah, I need to make better use of this area. That's a little bit better. Yep, mostly food in here. I've got, let's see here, 
Blueberry muffin makes sta shelf stable milk, more powdered milk, more coffee. Look at that. I got this off Amazon as well as the vegetable, freeze dried vegetables and lunch and dinner. I'm going to give them a try. I've got my water glass eggs, two gallons of them and some other stuff down there and some egg cartons and whatnot. Well, it looks like all these chickens are out in the yard. Finally, wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep, they're all out here. Hi, Romeo. Good Lord, look at this. Look at this yard. It looks horrible when it rains. So I'm going to go check the eggs. If you guys all laid your eggs, you get to go out. Oh, my gosh. Look back here. Look at it. Two hens just made a little nest down here. <laughs> that means uh, Coco and Roxy laid their eggs down here. I found one egg in the nesting box up front, and I bet you there's two leghorn eggs in here. Hello, Miss Pris Fancy Pants. She's been setting for 10 days, so we're about halfway through. Huh, only one. I wonder where the other leghorn laid. Looks like one leghorn is slacking. Slacking, man. Well, I'll give you about another 30 minutes or so. It's okay to take a day off. Looks like it ain't gonna happen for the third leghorn. So you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let him out. Just because, oh, I already got the outside gate open so I can just pull this up. There you go, babies. Be free. Go on, Roxy. Go get some food. I wanted to let him out because it's supposed to rain later on in the day. Uh, I want them to get out for at least a little while. Enjoy some grub. Free grub. Great. I just let the chickens out and it's starting to thunder, but the sun's coming out, which is weird. So hopefully it won't rain too terribly hard. And hopefully Romeo will get the chickens back to their yard. If it starts pouring down rain, I'm sure he will. Anyhow, I just gave the little baby chickens a big can of tuna with some cornmeal in it, and they just gobbled it all up. Oh, my goodness. They just gobbled it all up, and I threw some grit down in there. So, I don't know. I may let them stay up in this coop tonight, just depending on if I can... I don't know. The, the van is so safe. Um, we'll see. I may... I may have enough time to make a couple more modifications that'll make it safer. I think it's going to be okay because it's right out my front porch. I I can hear everything that, that's going on and I've got that security alarm out front. So anything in this area, any kind of critters that come out, um, that alarm goes off. And it's alarmed when there's been raccoons close by in the past. So that'll work out okay. The solar has been holding up uh, pretty well, even though that it's kind of cloudy. I've been able to keep the refrigerator going and the little heat mat for the baby chicks, and they're doing great. I'll show you them tomorrow. So everything is just going great. I have plenty of food. Believe me, I have plenty of food. I had, well, um, my old neighbor niece brought me some packaged chicken because she doesn't like it and some um, powdered milk, and I use both of those. And the amount of chicken that she gave me, it's 10 ounce bags. You can get 12 seven ounce bags on Amazon for 40 bucks. And she gave me 12 10 ounce bags and she didn't like it. I eat it all the time. I eat it almost every day. And some powdered milk and I'm trying to think of what else. Um, and then Mrs. Lucas' wife told me that her sister-in-law on the corner um, had some extra, she, she went, went and got commodities, I guess. And um, she gives it out what she doesn't want to various different people. Well, it just so happens that things that she doesn't like, I love. Canned mixed fruit. It's delicious. Um, she gave me some more powdered milk and some canned tomato sauce, which I use all the gosh darn time. So I am really hooked up on food. I've got all that emergency food in there, and I hope it's tasty. I do. Um, and I've got more on the way, too. More is coming. So I could literally live without making a single dime for the next six months and never have to leave, never have to spend any money, and just live off of what I've got. And I've got a lot. So I'm very grateful. And I've got more food growing too. And I got chickens spitting out eggs every single day. <sighs> I don't know. I may need to get ready to raise some meat birds. Who knows? Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.